Hello to all of my eccentric Aquarians out there. Welcome. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and take a look and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week, you guys. Do keep in mind the readings are general here, so just take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't. Uh, if you are drawn to this reading, I do believe that there is a message here waiting for you. We are going to kick off using the Connected and Free Oracle to just grab uh, a look at your main energy for the upcoming days and week. We're going to follow that on with tarot cards plus clarity cards. And then towards the end of this reading, if you have someone specific in your mind that you're dealing with, we're going to take a look at their energy as well beautiful there's the card as the main energy you've got the solar plexus chakra coming through here okay solar plexus chakra so straight away i feel here that you might feel more confident in your relationship so for those of you who are in a relationship with someone this week could see your confidence increasing or perhaps you're you're witnessing your special person's confidence increasing it could be all thanks to you aquarius you may be building this person up or this person is building you up there's a beautiful, strong confidence uh, that is building and coming through this connection. Or you're starting to feel more confident within the relationship. You're starting to feel more secure within the relationship. Or you feel safe and secure with this person. Hmm. There's also, I'm getting a, a beautiful trustworthiness, okay, so the trust, that, that bond, that trust is building between you and your special person as well. But I do see a beautiful confidence glowing through you, Aqua, this week as a result of someone maybe, yeah, just stroking your ego or just showering you with a lot of attention i am seeing this beautiful yellow as a positive omen okay to me when i look at the color yellow i think of optimism and positive energy and um, joy happiness so yeah beautiful energy coming through this week let's take a look at the tarot cards so We've got the Ten of Swords coming through. It is in the reverse. So whatever difficulty you have been going through when it comes to love or romance, I feel like it's starting to lighten up, okay? Th those Ten Swords are in the reverse. So it looks like uh, the end of a difficult time is is approaching here. You can, you can kiss the... the the dark days or the heavy days, goodbye, okay? You've got the death card here and the tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio with the death card or you could be dealing with someone from the past. You've got the page of cups, water energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person may be younger than you. You've got air energy as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So the good news is with the death card is death represents change. It represents it's time to change. It's time to let go of the old ways and embrace the new ways. So I do see change on the horizon or on the cards here for you and your special person. The relationship that you are currently in is going through a change for the better. And it's like your confidence in this person is growing as a result of them showing you that they're embracing the change or they're about to like put their money where their mouth is. So if this person has been telling you, I'm, I'm willing to change my ways, like you're, you're growing more confident in this person. You're trusting this person because their actions are aligning to their words. I do feel like you and someone special here are coming through a very difficult cycle. Okay. Uh,
And we've even got the, the tower that's coming in as very disruptive. So the foundation of this connection is crumbling. Or whatever you were experiencing within this tower, with this person, it's crumbling. It's, it's coming down. I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Tower, this speaks to insight or clarity. It's like this person's had an aha moment and they had to get here on their own because the Ace of Swords is pointing within. So it's like it's not like it came outside of this person, but this person had to come to some kind of a realization themselves. It's like we can lead a horse to water, but they can't they don't have to drink from that water they have to come to this realization themselves and i feel like that's what's happening here i feel like the page of cups in this spread speaks to an expectation you may have a high expectation of this person knight of swords because you're the you're the air energy here and you're looking at this page of cups okay so i feel like here aqua you have a high expectation of this person because the page of cups speaks to an unrealistic expectation so you may have an unrealistic expectation on this person you, you want the best because the Page of Cups can speak to an energy of someone who's got their head in the cloud. So it's like you want the best of the best from this person. You expect the best from this person. You expect no less. But it's like this person that you were dealing with. If they were younger than you or acting emotionally immature here with you, they're realizing and waking up to themselves on the changes that they need to make. I feel like with the Knight of Swords here, these changes that are taking place are going to happen sooner rather than later. It's like I, you're going to look at this and, and go, wow, I can't believe how quickly this person is willing to change for me. Sorry for the background noise. Let's get some clarity, guys. Let's expand on this. Let's get some clarity on the Ten of Swords in reverse. Oops. I'll take the one that, oh no, no, I was going to take the one that fell over, but I'm not called to. All right, so let's do that again, spirit angels and guys. Can we please get some clarity on the Ten of Swords in reverse? There we go. Five of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups. So the Five of Wands in reverse, yeah, this person wants to come through a difficult time now. Okay, they don't want tension they don't want to they don't want tension in this relationship anymore they're done with it they're sick of feeling the knots inside of their tummy ace of cups they want a new beginning here with you knight of cups in reverse tells me here that this person may lack confidence okay they may lack confidence or they may be feeling insecure here but i feel like with your love or your support here their confidence is growing. So yeah, I feel like the the focus is on someone's confidence here. Let's get some clarity on the Ace of Swords in reverse. Spirit Angels and Guides, can we please get some clarity on the Ace of Swords in reverse? Five of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't want to walk away from this connection. Okay, they're realizing that, you know, the grass isn't greener on the other side or... Um, they're realizing that whatever is missing from this connection, it, it comes from within them. Okay, it's something that they can actually turn around. Let's take a look at the death card, spirit, angels, and guides. Can we get some clarity on the death card? 
two of swords in reverse. This person is simply or you're simply deciding that change is required in the current situation. Something needs to change. It is clear. It's as obvious as day. And this clarity is coming to this person or to yourself. Okay. They're not stopping this from happening. They're, just, they're definitely embracing the change. Let's take a look at this tower card. Spirit, angels and guides. Eight of cups. Eight of Cups. They want the happiness to come back into this connection. They, This person hasn't been happy for a long time. And it's because they were at one point unwilling to look at themselves And realize that that happiness comes from within. Let's take a look at the Page of Cups. Could be a Cancerian that you're dealing with here. Let's look at the Page of Cups. Spirit, Angels and Guides. Can we get some clarity on the Page of Cups? Six of Wands in reverse. This person feels like that they're not good enough for you. They lack confidence. They really, really lack confidence. Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person is hard on themselves. King of Pentacles here, but they are very committed to this relationship. Okay, it could be like their confidence could be tied in with their, their financials or their status, like how much money they have, how high up the career ladder they are. Um, how many investment properties they own like it's like their confidence is tied in with their business or their their worth is tied in with how much money they make or their success let's get some clarity on the knight of swords the chariot there's that cancer energy again this person is determined with the chariot card to move things forward okay they don't want to stay stuck Queen of Wands, they're feeling inspired to make the changes because they want to see, a, a, they can see a future here with you. They want to be like your wish come true. They want to, they want to give you all the happiness and all the joy. They want to be that, that provider. They want to be that person that makes all of your dreams come true and that can fulfill you. Um, they want to make sure that they're that person for you. OK, that's how they want to come through. They want to feel confident that this person can provide you with all the love and everything that life has to offer you because they feel that you deserve the happiness, all the happiness in the world. That like this person feels like they want to know that the happiness begins and ends with them. That your happiness begins and ends with them. Let's get some extra messages when it comes to your person. Spirit, angels and guides. What extra messages do you have for our aqua babies? Two of coins. This person is willing to juggle. Juggle things in their life. Uh, because they're making you a priority here. You are priority to this person and they will do everything that they can to ensure that they are going to be the best version of themselves for you. Mm. The High Priestess in reverse. There is something here that this person has been keeping to themselves that I feel this knowledge is going to come out. Okay, this knowledge is going to come out because this person is going to let you know. They're going to let you in on a secret here. So 
sorry for the background noise guys I'm really really sorry I have my children at home today and you know you know what children are like they just think of themselves sometimes <laughs> we've got the justice in reverse yeah they feel like things are unbalanced right now uh, within this connection and they want to turn things around they want to make it right something they they could feel like life has dealt them um, a savage blow but I feel with the two of pentacles here that they will get on top of whatever has brought them down they will get on top of this this person wants to bring balance back into this relationship could be dealing with a Libran. This person may be a Libran as well. Let's get some clarity on the justice in reverse, shall we? Four of Wands. Yeah, they want to turn this around. They want to create stability. They want victory here with you. They, they want to create a solid foundation here with you. For some of you, this person wants to marry you. Okay, they, they do want to marry you. I feel like right now this person isn't someone that you're married to but they do see marriage here on the cards okay it could be it could be exactly what's coming out into the open let's get some more clarity on this high priestess in reverse the devil king of cups <laughs> the high priestess in reverse <laughs> so I feel like there is an addiction or there's something that this person isn't proud of with the devil energy it could be that they're a workaholic as well but they're doing it because they want to provide the best life for you ultimately with the king of cups this person loves you but they do want to come clean about this devil energy okay they feel like with the two of coins that they can manage this or they can control this in some way. Okay, I'll take the four of swords because that's the one that I see. The four of swords to me speaks of rest. I feel like this person has been undertaking a lot or juggling a lot in their life right now and all they need is just a bloody good break and for you aqua all it means here with the solar plexus chakra is that you might need to come in and give this person the boost or the confidence that they need. It's like almost like with the solar plexus chakra card that you are their cheerleader. And I feel like this person really needs you. They need to know that they're going to be okay. They need to know that it's safe to take a break or to take a rest here. They need to know that you love them and you're not going to leave them. Okay. Because this Four of Wands, I, I see this as a very strong card. That's all about stable foundations. But there's something here that needs to come crumbling down so you can rebuild this connection stronger than ever. And I feel like you're their tower of strength. So there you have it, uh, Aqua. This is your read. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this reading brought value to you. If it did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. And until next time, take it easy and take care. Bye for now.